Hi, I'm Mike and I'm here to talk about the installation of the Kiwi Wi-Fi. The Kiwi Wi-Fi in the box, you'll get the actual Kiwi Wi-Fi with the Wi-Fi dongle, a little on and off switch on the side there, the OBD2 plug, very important. Next, it'll come with instructions. The instructions say it won't take long, and it, and it doesn't, believe me. What you want to do first is you want to connect your OBD2 cable to your vehicle's OBD2 port, which is located um, on the driver's side of 1996 newer vehicles, very accessible, it needs to be, mechanics need to get to it, as well as you will now need to get to it. And again, it's very accessible, you probably don't even know you have it. Step two, you want to go to your settings on your iPhone or your iPod Touch. Once you're in your settings, whether you have your um, Wi-Fi on or off, you want to turn it on, for sure. Uh, tap on the PLX, you'll see it written underneath Choose a Network. Uh, you will tap on PLX and then tap on the little blue arrow to the right of PLX. You'll tap on the tab that says Static. Um, in the IP address field, you want to type in 192.168.0.11. Once you're done doing that, you want to go into the subnet mask field and you want to type in 255.255.255.0. Don't worry about the other fields, you want to leave those you want to leave those settings blank. And then you're done. You are absolutely done. You're connected our Wi-Fi to your iPhone or iPod Touch. Next, depending on the applications you pick, you're going to want to set this up. And I'm going to go into detail on how to set up the application. I know a lot of people have some questions about that and it's much simpler than you think. All right, let's start uh, taking a look at software. Um, let me show you a couple of my favorite softwares. Uh, one of them is Rev by Dev Toaster. Uh, if we scroll down, we will see the first uh, image here, which it will have the actual main menu of Rev uh, when you actually load the software up on your iPhone or iPod Touch. You'll see gauges, you'll see track day, you'll see codes. Uh, what's really cool is you can the name of your car will be up here. You can have a picture of your car right here. If your car, I believe, is uh, 2005 and newer, your VIN will actually show up. You can still input it, but your VIN will actually show up and give the weight of the car. Really, really cool. Uh, next, we have the actual gauges. Great thing about these gauges is you can see five gauges, real-time gauges, at the exact same time. Any one of these gauges, uh, right now they have it set up, uh, fuel trim, uh, timing advance, um, forward acceleration, so on and so forth. You can grab any one of these, say you want to grab this gauge up at the top right and drag it to the center. It will change the gauge in the center to the gauge that you just pulled down and it will put the gauge in the center back where you just pulled the other one from. Really, really cool. Really, really quick. Really fast. Um, next, we have diagnostics. Unbelievably cool. You can check your engine codes, like this one says one code found, two pending found. You can reset these codes. Um, you can monitor stuff. It, it's really cool. You can you know, fix the problem or just get rid of the code, reset the code right then and there. Uh, this is track mapping. Really cool thing about track mapping is it'll, just like it says, it'll track, it'll map out your track and everything. You can see your acceleration, your deceleration, your cornering, your, you know, your time, your lap speeds, your race timer. I mean, it has a lot of stuff. Um, let's move over to, oh, this is really cool. Um, this is where you do your custom gauge setups. You can grab this um, red line and move it. You want to move your red line to 7 grand, 6 grand, 10 grand, 11 grand. You can move, you can make all your changes right here. This is in the software as well. Here you can actually, your vehicle profile, you can identify your vehicle, you can set your weight on your vehicle. Here your 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 PIDs that you get from your actual OBD2 reading, speed, RPM, torque, so on and so forth. Hey, let me go back to the very beginning uh, when you first open up your Rev2. You'll notice right up here, it's zero to 60. And how this works is, as soon as your car hits zero, it will it will calculate until you hit 60 and give you the seconds. It'll and it'll record this automatically. You don't have to do anything. So you can get every time you you stop your car and you take off zero to 60, it'll stop at 60 exactly and tell you your seconds that you have. Rear wheel horsepower. Once you calculate everything, you can get that. It's real time. It's unbelievable. Now let me show you another software that I'm very fond of as well. This is. Um, Dash Command by Palmer Performance. 
really great technology and, and word is uh, new software is coming out, uh, an upgrade rather. Uh, they have real time gauges as well and you can switch these screens right here. Really, 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 really cool. They got some great screens. They also have uh, which is called uh, racetrack. Same thing. You'll have your, you know, your cornering, your braking, the red represents braking, yellow uh, deceleration, green acceleration, so on and so forth. I'd be mainly red on this, but that is really cool. They have a couple of really neat features. One of my favorite features it, for all you four wheel drive or off road enthusiasts, it's a must have. They have an incline meter. The incline meter has roll, pitch. I mean, this is, this is a must have. Let me show you another one, the other incline meter. It's it, as clear as you see it here, as clear as you see it on your iPhone or iPod. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. Uh, this company again makes a great software as well. Now I get a lot of questions on how to download the software. Let me show you how easy it is. If you go to, uh, for instance, let's just pick devtoaster.com. Right here you'll see something that says available for the iPhone on the App Store and iPod Touch. You just click on the software. Now it'll ask you if you want to go to iTunes, iTunes Music, or so on and so forth. I just pick iTunes, it doesn't really matter. It, it'll get you there. When it takes you there, you'll see the description, so on and so forth. What's new? This is a 2.0, uh, 2.1 uh, um, new software. This is the latest and greatest software they have right now. You just go right here to purchase it, buy now. If you're familiar with, uh, you know, downloading songs, it's the same same process through iTunes, same exact process. You buy the software and you're up and going. And that is it for the setup. It's, again, download the software and turn it on and once you set up the Wi-Fi, you're good to go. And that's it. I mean, there's not much more than that to do to set up the Kiwi Wi-Fi. It's really, really simple. It's a very powerful tool for the money, no doubt about it.